Good evening guys, Vez3D here for another Long Shlong Dong test. <laughs> and tonight we're going to be testing something that everyone has been waiting for and that is retraction. Even though I've set the first part, part one was showing you um, a overall print test that was including retraction, overhang, bridges and everything. But some people commented that yeah, it was done at a thousand millimeter per second uh, travel speed. So that's why you don't give enough time for that hot end to ooze. So here it is tonight. I'm doing another test for you guys and for me, because I'm interested to find out what's going to happen if I print at 30 millimeters per second and I do like 200 millimeters per second travel speed. So that's what I've done. I've created myself a STL with a tower, 100 millimeter tall tower. And for this test, what I've done is very simple. I have used firmware retraction in Clipper. And uh, I found something very, very cool about Clipper and retraction. Um, and I'm going to show you that right here on the computer very quickly. Um, for this test, I have set my pressure advance at zero. I have set my retract length at zero and retraction speed at 100. And as you can see, this is firmware retraction. So this is what is enabled on, on the, um, the firmware. So let's start the bed. It's going to be preheated. But what I want to show you and what I've found recently is that Clipper has a, um, a way of tuning retraction just like you do with um, the pressure advance. You remember the pressure advance? You print a kind of a, a, a cube or a, a tower. And uh, what it does is as, as soon as it starts printing, it's going to crank up pressure advance. And what you do, you um, measure the distance at which the tower will be printed the most perfect. I mean, where it's going to be the better, the best. Same thing goes with retraction. I found this uh, last week. There is a tuning command that you start with your print. You can either type it in or include it in your G-code. I have included in my G-code here. First of all, retraction, I mean, advance, pressure advance set to zero. The tuning tower is this command. It sets your retraction parameter and set the retraction length. And I'm going to start this test with absolutely no retraction at all. And the factor here is every time it's going to do one millimeter of printing, it's going to increase by 0 0.01. And uh, that is going to be all the way up to one millimeter. So if you multiply that by 100, because my part is going to be 100 millimeter tall, that's going to be one millimeter of retraction at the end of the print. I hope I don't have to go that far, <laughs> but we never know. Um, I, I didn't test it yet. Um, temperature will be set at 60 for the bed and then 210 for the hot end. So let's just uh, kick this task and we're going to print this and say start print. And since the bed is already warm, it's going to do it. So as you can see, my G code set pressure advance to 0000. zero, zero, zero. No pressure advance. And uh, just to confirm, here it is, zero advance, zero retract, zero unretract, and 100 millimeters per second retraction speed. So this is how it's going to print. And um, while it's heating up, I just want also to show you how quick this hot end can heat up. And it is very good. Very decent performance. I mean, it takes only a couple seconds to reach uh, the printing temperature. And uh, we're going to go right away on that printer because that print's going to start pretty soon. I'm going to turn on that DSLR. There you go. Because that's going to be the cleanest images because this cell phone is filming good in 4K, but it has some focus issue. So anyway, um, for this print test, we are using a 0 0.5 millimeter nozzle. Uh, using PLA 210 uh, Celsius for temperature. I'm using 30 millimeters per second print speed as mentioned before 200 millimeter uh, per second for travel speed and my acceleration is set at 5k 
deceleration 2500 corner speed 5 those settings are settings that most printers can do I mean all printers can do it's definitely standard printing let me just start the camera here and maybe give it a bit of zoom there you go maybe again okay so it is printing the first layer is going to be um, at a hundred millimeters per second and there you go just one layer for the base and that is no retraction at all and you can see it's stringing like crazy right now it leaves plastic all over the place so a lot of oozing but remember we are at zero millimeter retract and uh, zero millimeter I mean zero pressure advance so let me just show you this real quick so we are on the computer as you can see zero advance and retract it's not even doing a 0 0.1 millimeter which is nothing it's also reporting in the console here at every layer it's gonna report uh, what's the gonna be the retraction length so right now it's 0 0.03 and uh, we are printing with the long shang dong as you can see and yeah retraction is there so let's just take a look at when we're gonna be able to print good quality it has stopped stringing stringing is uh, gone but there might be some let me try to zoom in a bit yeah at least kind of a a little blobs here and there so it's not optimal but it's getting there it's getting there I'm guessing it will be good around 0.3 maybe um, my Magnum Plus with PLA I have to set it between 0.3 and 0.6 millimeter of retraction depending on the brand this same brand here of PLA uh, on my Magnum Plus I have to use at 0.5 which is still very tiny for for retraction 0.5 millimeter on an extruder is minimal but keep in mind again that pressure advance is set to zero with pressure advance your tuning uh, your retraction is going to be a lot less because um, it reduced the pressure before traveling on that nozzle and that stupid camera is bad on the cell phone so I'm hoping we can switch sometimes to the DSLR but I think right now it's doing pretty good yep will it blobs? no blob no blob at all there you go there you go yeah, that's good. Let's take a look where we at as far as retraction. 0 0.1, I think, it is where it started to be good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is impressive. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I didn't expect that. We're still at 210. That's crazy. 0 0.13, no pressure advance. Keep that in mind, no pressure advance. And uh, fan is set at 45, which is about probably, maybe a bit more than what you would normally find on a, on a normal 3D printer with a 50-50. Because that CPAP setup has a lot of cooling, but still, it shouldn't matter. So yeah, it's, it's definitely pre printing fine now. Printing very, very good. No oozing, no stringing. That's insane. It's even better than my. Can I say that? Yeah, it's it's even better than what I do with my Magnum Plus. Can you believe that? <laughs> the more I print with this hot end, 
the more I love that hot end. And this is a 60 millimeter version. The 40 millimeter version that is coming to my hand probably next week or in two weeks gonna be even better in terms of oozing and retraction. Because yeah, it's, it's gonna be uh, smaller. But the reason why I think it's so good with retraction is that there is not a lot of back pressure with that hot end. So it flows super good. So when it travels, it didn't build pressure inside. So there's not a lot of oozing. Even though there's a, a very long melt zone, there's no pressure that will push the plastic out. And that is only, that is only a theory. <laughs> don't, don't think I know what I'm saying here. But I think that's a plausible theory. I think that's a pretty good theory. I could be wrong, but yeah, it's impressive in my opinion. Bez is happy once again. And look at that. Doing very good. There's a bit of stringing once in a while, but I mean, every hot end would do that. It's still doing very, very good. Let's just take a look at where we at again. We're not even at 0 0.3, 0 0.24. And it's cranking up slowly. I'm not sure you wanna see that all the way up to one millimeter. I don't think there's a point doing it. I think it's printing perfectly fine. So we can stop this print right now. And um, maybe I'm gonna put a Okay, stopped. I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put part of the, the video that I've done uh, with a, a Yoda print. I printed a Yoda with uh, Voronoi, Voronoi, Voron, O-I, heck, I don't know how to pronounce that. But, <laughs> it, it was a, a cool Yoda. Um, I don't know where it is. Yeah, my son took it. He, he took it for a a toy but anyway yeah it printed a, 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 a Yoda with all kinds of holes in the model so that way I could see a retraction and I've done it at 225 millimeters per second with 0 0.5 millimeter retract because I thought I would do the same kind of retract that my Magnum Plus had and it was doing good I mean retraction was was on was was right there it was good but I just realized I can go lower than 0 0.5. I think at 0 0.1 millimeter is where I started to see um, perfect tower and add pressure advance on top of that retract and 0 0.1 millimeter will be definitely perfect. I'm pretty sure of that. So that was it, the retraction with that long shong dong. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, that was a, a long and, and boring video, um, but I know people wanted to see the retraction on that on that long shlong dong, <laughs> and here it was. So um, I'll do another video. Probably the next one will be when I will receive the forty milli, milli, blah, forty millimeter version of that LSD hot end, and I'll be really happy to share that with you all. So on this, folks, have a terrific night. Take care. I love you all. And stay healthy. See you on the next one. Goodbye.